good midday or good evening or good day everyone. Welcome by a new video by Zoibu. If you don't know me yet, I'm a mixed media artist and you're currently watching a video where I make a digital painting. I was really into the digital art brushes, so think just uh, pixel art brushes actually. I'm drawing a character named Denji and he is from the manga Chainsaw Man. He's also the main character there and I was reading the manga, I finished it and I was like, let's make some fan art. If you're wondering what that floating thing is on the right side, that is actually my character called Shrimp Cat. It is my ma mascot and I use it quite often when streaming and as you can uh, might think or you might notice, this is actually a little work in progress video from when I was streaming. This is mostly, if not all, made by pixel art brushes, so that's pretty interesting. I was really having fun with it, the drawing only took me like one and a half hours, so that's quite quick. And I was just having fun. And I thought might as well upload it here to let more people see it. At the beginning you also saw a little video. And that video was made with Live 2D. And also a little bit with uh, Adobe Premiere. <laughs> there we go. Basically made to... Um, yeah, show you who this character is. Maybe slightly scared, a little bit cautious, what is happening. And at the end, you will also see another video that will show a little secret or a little sneak peek. Because I actually made two versions of this drawing. What you see me using right now is the mirror tool. Basically make the face symmetrical. It's quite easy to use that to just make some adjustments or make something that will make you happy. <laughs> I do not I do not really know how to explain it, just use it and then kind of erase it, uh, make it less perfect basically. I must say I do not reuse that tool quite often, I just use it every now and then. Uh, I believe I was talking about, hmm, don't know what the nose looks like. Um, and for this I only made a bust drawing, so that means only from the shoulders and up. You see me flipping the, the canvas here, basically to show off like, hey, Gonna try to make it symmetrical. He's looking to the front. He's, uh, you can see the arrow to the side. He's also kind of looking up. So I try to uh, kind of show that. So you have the the under eye part that is slightly more white, as you can see now. And then you have the shadow that is falling on the face itself. Um, if you see that floating screen on the left side, that is uh, a program called PureRef. I will link it in the description. And the program is basically used to make images float on top. I just searched for Denji online, uh, got some manga and anime pictures. I also before got some other pictures from like poses and things, but I decided to do some easy poses. If you didn't see the warning at the beginning, there are flashing images in this video. That's basically because I'm switching quite harshly with, uh, how do you say that, with gradients and stuff. So it will kind of move around. Ah, here's my Twitch handle if you want to <laughs> search that. If you uh, feel like you want to check that out. Oh, and then I posted it online because I was like, check it out. Um, other than that, the red can mean everything. He's also wearing some kind of color. What can that mean? Maybe it has something to do with the character in the background that you will see in a little bit. Um, I guess here I was just AFK <laughs> or drinking some water. Um, but I will tell you a little bit more about what I've used. The pixel art brushes were from ArtStation. I will also link them down below. Uh, I also used them on a previous project. I do not know if that was the Halloween speed paint. It could be. I believe I also used it there, but I've been having fun with that. Uh, Photoshop is also one of the first art programs that I learned and I just keep, uh, kept on using it. And I still like it, so that's why I use it. If you have any other art program, they probably have brushes as well, so you can use that too. What I really like is that uh, for the thumbnail from this video, and actually the, the last couple of thumbnails are actually made in paint. So I write them out in paint and then I edit them in um, Adobe Photoshop. I think it's really fun because I'm trying to let loose and just create the videos and see what will happen. Maybe people like them, maybe not. But more than all, I just like to use my Sunday to create a video and see what will happen. Uh, for this one, I just tried to experiment with the video at the beginning. And I hope you guys can see that I 
really tried my best <laughs> in that regard. It is still quite difficult, but I hope to get better and maybe just update you all on that. Um, this drawing, I believe, took around one and a half hours. The original drawing time took around one hour. And then the character in the background and adding that took around half an hour or so. So that was quite okay. <laughs> it was doable. It was fun to do. Uh, I'm also planning to upload uh, the speed paint of another character named Aki from this series. And I think that will also be cool. So maybe in the near future. I do not know when I kind of switch them around. And I still have some videos. Fun fact. YouTube for me <laughs> has been kind of icky for me. I wanted to do more of it, less of it. And it kind of uh, has been switched around. So... One time I would use it and then I would leave it be for a long time. But that doesn't mean I don't have videos. I have a bunch of speed paints or just not edited yet, but like uh, footage videos from years ago that I can still use. So maybe I just need to check that out every now and then and see what will happen. I think that will be very fun. Um, other live things. Currently working on a new project. Maybe I will share it with, with you guys soon. And if not, I will probably share it on social media. Most of my social media is Zoibu. Um, yeah, with one U, two U's, three U's. Depends on the social media website. But you can uh, find it down below. I also sell handmade paints if you're interested in that. That's on my Etsy. If you're so far and you're still listening, thank you so much. Uh, please give a like. And if you want, you can subscribe as well. Why do I say this? I do not know. You can also unlike and unsubscribe if you want that. <laughs> That's also fine. Um, the rest of the video I will just play out and I will say a little bit at the end. So yeah, enjoy watching. Bye.
and we are at the end of the video or around the end I wanted to show you the final video that I made and the final pieces here you can see something blinking in the background uh, this is the one with the more scary background in the end and then this is the one with just a red background I think it turned out really well and I'm quite happy with it yeah this is the final animated one thank you so much for watching maybe till next time and if not i hope you enjoyed it okay thank you so much for listening i hope you liked it again um eat something nice and tasty today okay okay bye bye bye